What's going on, yo? Mad Dad 316 here coming to you from this Mad Den. Here to talk to you about Mad Den. Series 7 is here. It has arrived. It is upon us. So I'm already hearing a lot of negative feedback from a lot of people in the community talking about disappointments, letdowns, expectations not reached, and all that jazz, but if you guys follow my channel at all, and if you guys take any advice I said and listen to the videos and what I say in the videos from, you know, back, I mean, almost every single time we have anything drop, it is the same with life as it is with Madden 19, be the same with 20, be the same with Madden 30 when it comes out. Do not have expectations, guys. Do not. You're only going to be let down when you have expectations. Your mind starts building off these fantastic little dreamlands of things that you're gonna that are gonna happen and they 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 if they fail to reach that you're you're disappointed. And the same thing with life, you know, you 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 count their eggs before they're hatched, you know, you you, you go on on things before you know and you're gonna be let down. Do not live that way. It's only a life of disappointment. Do not play mad in that way. It's only gonna be a game of disappointment for you. That's the only advice I can give to you guys and I'm gonna say it over and over again. So I get tired of hearing it myself just to see if I can keep some positivity out there in this Madden community. Come on, guys. We're all together in this. We all play the game. We all love, we all do it for a reason, you know, which I've never really talked about. But we're in this together, guys. So let's try to stay positive, bring each other up. Say, yeah, man, it could be a lot worse. You know, it could be a lot worse. The servers could be off right now. <laughs> it could always be worse, guys. It could always be worse. But anyway... Series 7 is here, and before I get into anything and my take on everything, I just want to let you guys know I did I did finish my solo battles, you know, to get the double rewards, and I did get to level 91, so I'm going to get the first level, which is a, um, well, I'm ranked 38, 38th in the world in Madden that plays solo battles right away, but anyway, um, I did get my first, I'm going to get my first reward, which I believe is a 99, 99, 94 plus Ultimate Legend pack. Yeah, that's what it is. So you guys need to see me pull my first pack. And we'll see if we can be glitchy to, to, to kick off Series 7 here. Um, who could this be? It could be just training. It's going to be a full legend. <laughs> Randall McDaniel. How many times have I pulled Randall McDaniel? If you follow my channel, yeah, I pull him a lot. We also get a new collectible for our man, Ricky. Run, Ricky, run. Who gets? He gets... He's going to become even more Ricky from what I see in, in, in this series as he's gotten new um, new tiers to add to Ricky. So for every level, we're going to get another Ricky, I believe. I believe there's, what, nine more of them? It'd be nine? Yeah, nine more. So you're going to get all these. And he's going to be even more of a 99 than he ever was. You thought you had a 99 Ricky? You weren't even close. You were nine tiers away from that 99 Ricky you thought you had. But... Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna ride with him. We're gonna we're gonna do this, and he does now get which I've already put on him as soon as I heard of it, so I can hurry up and get rid of that stupid Gronk tight end because he's just carrying Legend Kim for me. Is Legend rushing? You know, so um, now I can have him. So I'm gonna get rid of Gronk. I think is a, is the odd man out. Maybe Donovan McNabb. People I don't use to just keep around for Legends Kim, but uh, that Gronk is just uh, every time I try to put some faith in him, I maybe powered him up or something. He's just not a good card for me. Anyway, um, so yeah, so you get new levels as we see there. There's level rewards at every at every step of the way. I mean, if you haven't, if you don't know yet, you didn't watch the stream this morning. You haven't watched one of your other YouTubers yet that have told you everything. I'll tell you guys really quick. Um, if you, I tried to shoot a video this morning, but I did reach my 200 wins last night for Series Six. Great accomplishment for me, or just that I played Madden too much, one or the other. But 200 wins in a series in five weeks. I'm getting better at this game, just a little bit. Anyway, so at 93, you're going to get the 98 power-up pass. I'm assuming between each each tier, you're just going to get the Ricky collectible. At 95, you're going to get the 97 overall um, Ultimate Legend player. So you're at least going to get you a Randall McDaniel, maybe a Rod Woodson or something like that. And um, then again, you can jump to 97. You're going to get 20,000 training. Um, 99 is going to be that 99 overall full legend. Going to be a lot of damn Marinos and Brian Erlachers. And 99 power-up pass. And who do we use that on? 
I'm going to include that. I'm not going to make a whole video on who I think you should lose, use this on. 90 up power up pass, Le'Veon Bell or Earl Thomas. Whichever one you don't have on your team. That's the best value, I think. Unless you want some legend that you just they been waiting, I guess, for for some reason. That's 98 because they've been so cheap for so long. But those are the best uses, I think, of that. Any of the limited cards, if you don't want to use the training. I think it was a Saquon Barkley, Andrew Luck. Were those the ones that got 98s or got 97s? I don't remember. But anyway, whatever limited series that were, use it on them. 99, um, I only have one person that I'm going to use it on. That's uh, CJ2K. His card's always going for like a million. And to build that set, it's almost very expensive. So I have him already powered up to the 98. I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't foresee any other cards that I really want right now that I'll need it on. That I, I foresee becoming a 99. If something pops back in um, the game, by the time I get that pass, maybe it'll be somebody else. But as where it stands right now, if I had that 99 power up pass, pass piss, pass, Right now, it would be on CJ2K. because He's just a great back. Great all-around back and catch. Can run. He's jukey. So, we got new challenges in the game. And from what I hear, there's different... Um, it goes back from moments to uh, objectives. So, I believe the first 40 are all moments. It's going to take you a while. From what I hear, it's going to take you about three and a half hours to get through these two right here. If he just runs through straight. These are the... I believe these are just the moments. I mean, the objectives. Yep. 20 years right the other. I can see down there. These are just objectives. So these will go by pretty quick right there. Then, I believe these are moments as well. Yep. So these two are moments. So you got two, I mean, two moments, two objectives, and the last one goes back to moments. Sorry to say. And probably third quarters, but... I'm not going to be doing this journey, guys, unless, I mean, I don't know what this hidden solo is. There's supposed to be a hidden set of solos that you get when you reach 99. I am not sure yet if you have to get the 99 as well, but, um, I mean, to get through this journey as well to access those, but um, that'll be the only way I see myself going back and doing these. It's something I just got to have, which, if they only make the Allen Page not even viable, if you have to do all that to get Allen Page or the punter, maybe I'll go back and do that, but anything else, I probably won't be doing any of these solos. Not don't want that Jarvis Landry anyway. I got the two small receivers I love in Antonio Brown and Odell Beckham. Anyway, the Madden collectible. So again, we're gonna go over to these sets. They have new uh, exchange sets. The 92, I think it's nine two ninety threes for ninety or two ninety twos for ninety three, two ninety threes for ninety four. So if you're into that kind of thing and gambling and luck, I mean they don't go for that much of a difference right now anyway. So it's those sets to me are uh, kind of a dead action, but um. They do have the new Series 7 Madden Collectible, which is 100. But the news is, they say, what about the rest of them? Up to 10. You can do this over and over again. So you'll need 400 more trophies to fully get Madden all the way where you want them. So basically, just think of it that way. Just go out. All your trophies from now on, if you're a Madden guy, are going straight towards this collectible. And many of us will be lucky if we ever make it to use it for anything else ever again. But <laughs> until that time, they're all going to go to Madden for me. So probably be the same thing for you if you're a Madden guy. If not, 95 to 97, 50, 90 to 94, 16. So, um, again, I hear a lot of negative stuff about this set. Oh, they're not. They did not say this is the end of the series. There'll be no more series. They did not say there'll be the end of content. We're going to get a new content next week, they said in the stream this morning. And I think it's going to be Positional Heroes, personally. That or Mutt, and everybody else. I mean, the consensus is Mutt Heroes too, But I feel like the demand alone and, and all the negativity that we're probably receiving right now is going to push them to put the one that we've all been waiting for, the Positional Heroes, so we can get at least our punter. And they can dangle Alan Page a little bit longer above our heads. But um, I believe that's going to be the one that comes next week is uh, Positional Heroes. So I'm going to probably do a video on that between now and before it comes out. Um, just to kind of give my predictions on that. If it's Mud Heroes 2, then it's a toss-up. You know, we all know the cards we're waiting for. Jamal Adams, um, um, George Kittle, Russell Wilson, Dak Prescott. Um, Power-ups we're still waiting for. I mean, those are some big cards that we're... The, and T.Y. Hilton is still waiting for a card. So there's a lot of... Um, Jalen Ramsey needs another card. So there's a lot of cards out there that, that could be, you know, the Mud Heroes, or the, I, I believe more the Positional Heroes, too. So 
Until that time, we're not going to know that the Mud Heroes will be, be a toss-up. If, if some of these guys I think are going to be in the positional heroes, I won't put them in there. But the Mud Heroes will be whoever doesn't make it to positional heroes and doesn't have a card. I don't think vice versa. That's my only reasoning thinking, my reason for thinking that way. But um, other than that, guys, we still have, you know, rookie premieres. If you guys haven't seen my rookie premiere video, it should be um, down there below. Looking at my older videos, I did drop it yesterday, and I do have my predictions for the entire team. So go check that out if you haven't already, and please share that video around because I don't think there's another one out there yet. And I would like to get you know grow this community a little bit better so I can help reach a lot more people, connect us all closer together. But um, I appreciate all the support, guys. Um, Series seven, don't think of it as a loss, guys. Just think of it as the beginning of the inevitable end. We all knew this this Madden 19 was going to end. It's just the beginning of the end. We know we still have stuff coming. So don't be too disappointed right now. Get your level ups. Get your rewards. Uh, still have Ultimate Legends coming out tomorrow. Can it be Alan Page? Probably not, but we'll see. Have a good day, guys. Mad Dad 316 is out.